Oh no, my name is Kermit Frog. Oh, Kermit, I really fancy you. I'm Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Hey, I'm Kermit Frog. Uh, Kermit the Frog. Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play... What is it called again? Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog from the Muppet movie. So, grab your uke. Or in this case, I'm using my trusty banjo -lele. Before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and play you through a quick snippet of the song first to give you guys a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. While I'm doing that, why don't you go ahead and leave me a comment right now letting me know what song you want to learn next. One, two, three, two, two, three. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. That was just a quick snippet of the song and I'm going to teach you how to play that first. But stick around because at the end of the video I'm going to play through the entire thing and you can play along with me from start to finish. Right now though I'm going to teach you the chords for the first half of the song. These are the chords that you'll need if you already know them and skip ahead now. To play the chord of A put your first finger on the first fret of the third string. Then put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of A should sound like this. To play the chord of D in the intro, put your first, second, and third fingers on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. And the chord of D should sound like this. However, in the verses, we play the chord of D by barring the second fret. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time with your first finger. Then you add your fourth finger to the fifth fret of the first string. And the chord of D in the verse should sound like this. And the reason that we play it like that is because the next chord is the chord of E. And to get there from the chord of D, all we have to do is slide the entire thing up one, two frets. And the chord of E should sound like this. To play the chord of F sharp minor, go back to that A shape, but this time add your third finger to the second fret of the second string. And the chord of F sharp minor should sound like this. To play the chord of D major seven, go back to that D shape from the verse, but this time lift up your fourth finger, but leave your third finger on the fourth fret of the first string. And the chord of D major seven should sound like this. To play the chord of C sharp minor seven, put your first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, your second finger on the first fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string. And the chord of C sharp minor seven should sound like this. To play the chord of B minor, bar that second fret again with your first finger, but this time add your third finger to the fourth fret of the fourth string. And the chord of B minor should sound like this. And to play the chord of F sharp, slide that bar down to the first fret of the ukulele and add your second finger to the second fret of the second string and your third finger to the third fret of the fourth string. And the chord of F sharp should sound like this. Now basically, these are the chords that you'll need for the first half of the song. After that, the song changes key and everything goes up one semitone, and there's a whole load of new chords that we'll need to learn. So what I'm going to do is teach you the first half of the song first, then once we've done that, I'm going to teach you all the new chords for the second half of the song. Then at the end of the video, stick around because I'm going to play the whole song for you guys to play along with me from start to finish. Firstly though, let's start off by learning the intro. That's basically just the chord of A to D played through twice. A, B, A, B. So all you need to learn is the finger picking pattern with your right hand. First things first, put your first finger underneath the third string, your second finger underneath the second string, and your third finger underneath the first string. Now on the chord of A, we're playing fingers one, two, three, two, three, two. And then on the chord of D, we're playing one, two, three, downstroke. So it's A, one, two, three, two, three, two, and then D, 
One, two, three, down. One, two, three, two, three, two, one, two, three, down. One, two, three, two, three, two, one, two, three, down. Start by playing that through nice and slowly because it's actually very, very simple and it shouldn't prove too challenging for you once you get the hang of it. For the verse, the chords are just A to F sharp minor to D to E three times, and then the fourth time round you play A, F sharp minor, D, but you hold on that D for two times round. And I play a nice and gentle down, down, up, down, up pattern once on each chord like this. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down. F-sharp minor, D, E. And you've got verse one. One, two, three, two, two, three. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? And that takes us into our pre-chorus. And for the pre-chorus, there are just two lines with one chord on each line. D major seven and C sharp minor seven. And here you play that down, down, up, down, up pattern four times on each chord. That's the part of the song that goes like this. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. And that takes us into our chorus. And there are two lines in the chorus. The first line, the chords are B minor to E to C sharp minor seven to F sharp. And then the second line, the chords are B minor to E to A. And here we play the down, down, up, down, up pattern once on each chord, except for that final A, where we play it twice. B minor, E, C sharp minor seven, F sharp, B minor, So now we've learnt the first half of the song, let's go ahead and play through the intro, verse one, the pre-chorus, and then the chorus. Nice and slow from the top. One, two, three, two, two, three. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? So after that chorus, we repeat the intro like we just did. Then we have verse two, another pre-chorus and another chorus, which are all exactly the same chords as the first part of the song that we just learned. And then that takes us into the bridge. This is the part of the song where the song changes key. Here we start off by playing two lines. The first line, the chords are E to F sharp minor to E. And again, we play that down, down, up, down, up pattern once on each chord. And then the second line, the chords are D to A to E to F. And here, for the sake of simplicity, we'll keep going up the fretboard and just slide that E shape up one more fret for the chord of F. So let's put that all together and play through our bridge, which will take us into the key change. All of us under its spell, we know that it's probably magic. And that 
takes us into verse 3, the final verse. Now the good news is verse 3 is similar to the first two verses where you repeat four chords once on each line, but the bad news is because everything shifted up one semitone, we need to learn four new chords for the verse. So these are the chords that you'll need for verse 3. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of B flat, bar the first and second strings on the first fret with your first finger, then add your second finger to the second fret of the third string, and your third finger to the third fret of the fourth string. And the chord of B flat should sound like this. To play the chord of G minor, put your first finger on the first fret of the first string, your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G minor should sound like this. To play the chord of E flat, keep that G minor shape, but just slide that second finger up to the third fret of the third string and the chord of E-flat should sound like this. And to play the chord of F in the verse, just put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and the chord of F should sound like this. Now much like verses 1 and 2, you repeat the same line four times through for verse 3, but this time the chords are B-flat to G-minor to E-flat to F, like this. One, one, one. move into the final pre-chorus, which is again the same as the first two pre-choruses, there's just one chord on each line, and you play each chord four times. The only thing is, now we've got to learn two new chords. The first chord is the chord of E flat major 7, which is exactly the same as the chord of D major 7, but you just slide it all up one fret, and it should sound like this. And the second chord is the chord of D minor 7. For that, you go back to that F shape, but this time add your third finger to the second fret of the third string, and your fourth finger to the third fret of the first string, and the chord of D minor 7 should sound like this. So that final pre chorus should sound like this. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. And now we have our final chorus, and again that's exactly the same as the first chorus, but the chords are all shifted up one semitone. So for the final chorus the chords are E flat to F to D minor 7 to G in the first line, and then E flat to F to B flat in the second line. So that final chorus should sound like this. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers and me. And that takes us into our ending, which is basically like the bridge from earlier in the song, but everything is shifted up one semitone. So the new chords are F to G minor to F in the first line, and then E flat to F to B flat in the second line. That's for the ending part of the song that goes like this. So put that all together and that's how to play Rainbow Connection from The Muppets as sung by Kermit the Frog. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and play you through the entire thing from start to finish and you guys can play along with me. If you want the song sheet you can download it from my Patreon page, patreon.com slash uteacher. You can sign up for as little as one dollar a month and you get every lesson at least 24 hours before the rest of the world plus a PDF song sheet with every lesson. And there's many more goodies and perks as well, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, then let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, I love you all, and I wish you the best. Are you ready, Percy? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me.
believe him but what it's done so far what's so amazing and keeps us stuck gazing what do we think we might see someday we'll find it the rainbow connection the lovers the dreamers and me Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. La 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 la. la.